In this video, I'm going to do a run through of Topaz Gigapixel AI. So Gigapixel AI is a piece of software that's designed to use machine learning and artificial intelligence to enlarge your photos whilst trying to retain as much information as possible. So a lot of pieces of software can do enlarging of photos, but a lot of these use um, a range of traditional upscale methods. So they might be bicubic, fractal or so on. And whilst these create higher resolution images, they can often result in a loss of detail and sharpness, which can often cause pixelated images. So what we have here on the Topaz website is the uh, a photo. And you can see this circle here is where it's been enlarged. So the before is a traditional enlargement technique and the after is using um, Topaz Gigapixel AI. And you can see it's retained quite a lot of information within the, the photo and the enlarged section as well. So there are a whole range of um, scenarios where you may want to use Topaz Gigapixel AI. It could be that you've got a low resolution um, camera phone photo um, it could be that you've got a good photo but you want to increase it significantly um, or it could even be that you've got something like a, a scanned photo or a cropped image that you want to increase the size of um, so this software can enhance up to about 600 percent whilst trying to retain the image quality now whilst the software can enhance up to 600 percent it is worth noting that a lot of the file types have um, uh, resolution and dimension limits. So just because the software could enlarge up to 600% doesn't necessarily mean that the file type will support that. So what I'm going to do is now go into the Gigapixel AI software. And we have that here. The interface is very similar to all of the topaz ai range the photo is loaded in the central section so i'm going to click on open and i'm going to open a flower so i have a picture of a flower here and at the moment this is zoomed to 50 percent now to get the best out of this software you ideally want to do this once you've edited the photo and done all of the things that you need to um, otherwise it'll it can often be fairly hard to work with the um, the larger photo so do this earlier on in the process and the same caveats to this software apply to the other AI softwares ideally you want to have a compatible graphics card and use your graphics card rather than the CPU now you can use CPU, but your performance is going to be much, much reduced because artificial intelligence um, is much harder to do on a CPU compared to a graphics card. So in terms of the interface, up here we have the file we opened. Um, you can see the file name, the image size, uh, as in its, its dimensions, uh, and where it is. On the left hand side down the bottom we can see the original where it's zoomed in so this is 50 percent and it's zoomed into a part of the flower um, and on the right hand side we can see the preview and what it would look like so um, you can turn that preview on and off but i'm going to turn it on and over on the right hand side of the screen you can see the scale in section so what we do, you could either resize by scale, by width, or by height. Now what you'll notice is if I go into width and I say that I want to increase this um, maximum width to say 30,000 pixels, it should say warning width or height cannot exceed uh, 22,000 pixels. Um, so I'm going to make that 20,000 and it'll still tell me the same thing. Um, so as you're getting closer to that, it's now going to tell you that, by the way, 
this um, image file type can't handle a, re a, a dimension beyond that. So that was width. You can also change by height as well, or you can change by scale. And so scale gives you a whole range of options. You can have a scale of 0 0.5 times. You might want a scale of two times. Um, you might want a scale of say four times. And what this is doing is it's showing the original, say traditionally enlarged photo or the zoomed in section and what Topaz would be doing to it. Now in this case, I would like to try six times. And on the right hand side here, it tells you what the dimensions of that file will be. You can have a look and drag the box around to see um, what different parts of the photo will look like. You've also got a couple of drop down boxes over here so you can have suppress noise on or off. And so you can see if I turn that off, there is a lot of noise down the bottom of this photo. So I'm going to benefit from having suppress noise turned on and I'm going to turn that up to high. You can also remove blur. So I've turned that off. Um, and it makes a little difference, but I'm going to turn that up to high. In the output section, you can save to the source folder, or you can change to a custom folder. I'm going to leave it on source folder. I'm also going to say um, no prefix, and the suffix will be the same name of the file, but with underscore enlarged at the end. You could choose to convert the file format to a different format than what you started off with. I'm not going to in this case. I've started off with a TIFF and I'm happy for it to go to a TIFF. So I now click on start and this is now going to start processing this photo using artificial intelligence and machine learning to uh, improve it. As I mentioned, this is used in the graphics card. Um, so the graphics card I've got on my computer is a Radeon and the details are in the description, but it's about an eight gigabyte um, memory graphics card. So it's not a bad graphics card, um, which means that my performance may be different to yours if your graphics card is different. Um, and so a lot of computers will have embedded graphics cards within them, which may not have a lot of memory. So it is worth checking whether your graphics card is supported or running a trial even. The trial is free um, and it'll run for uh, a period of time before it expires. I can't remember, I think it might be seven days or something similar. Now, talking about graphics cards, if you've got a file and then preferences, you can see in processing what mode it's set on. So I've got mine set on GPU. I've got allowed memory consumption as high and I've got use maximum quality AI models as yes. If yours is on CPU, um, your performance may vary. So that's a very brief run through of Gigapixel AI. I hope you found this useful. Uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified of new videos and stay tuned as I will no doubt have a few more videos on the Topaz AI range. Uh, there's a whole range of programs within this suite uh, so it is worth having a look to see how they work for you.